substrate is the next one. Again, this is the one that most people are, you know, uh, and we really have been uh, the same now. Um, this will be for the fifth year in a row. Um, actually, it's a little bit lower, but the reason I put it at 103863 is because a lot of times, um, sometimes papers and other publications, they round it to the nearest cent. And so if you round it to the nearest cent, that's 1039. And so I want to make sure we stay in that 1039. Um, but I could, if you really want me to, I could put another 5,000 on management and, you know, be more closer to the 1039, but I don't think we need to do that. Um, the neat, the thing to think, look here is to show you just how that all works. So if you think, look at the top line, that general fund is pretty, stay pretty level. And then um, in 2021, management was zero. And then 2022, that's uh, 51 cents. That's the 455,000. And then if you drop down to the debt service, last year, 2021, is 1.91. Remember we bumped that first bond payment up significantly and did plenty thing on management so we could get a jump start on that paying off that bond. And then this year it drops down, but we're still these first five years paying a significant amount on that bond. But that, as you can see, that one uh, forty-one in debt service and the 51 cents, those two together basically match up with what we paid last year on debt service, which then in turn keeps our tax rate at the $10.39. Doug, do you, do you recall how does that 141 compare to what we looked at with Piper guys when um, when we looked at approving the bond? It, it's exact, yeah. It's exact, okay. So we're on plan and yeah. debt, debt repayment. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we're, we're right on plan. And, and so and if you remember, by us doing all that extra up front, we we're going to save over a half a million dollars in interest yeah. um, by doing the, the, those first five years. Um, and the next one's just going to show you the dollar amount um, that is generated by those property tax dollars. Um, and just kind of shows you, you know, this is like the uniform way. That's that 4.7 is basically the $5.40 per thousand that's generated by our property taxes. Um, this is the next one's the additional um, levy. That third line down is your budget guarantee. I just told you that um, we. We did approve, we already approved that. That basically just guarantees you the 101% of the years before. And then of course your drop off prevention, cash reserve, we can't put anything on there. Um, the instructional, remember I told you the instructional support levy is some surtax and some property tax. So that 173,892, that is the property tax amount that is, uh, uh, that is part of that instructional support levy. The next one, you're not gonna be able to see very good even uh, when I get to it, because it's the actual published um, sheet that goes in. I'm gonna go actually to another one after that because, um, yeah, and that's, that one, I'm gonna, I'm actually going right past that one to the next one because, um, let's see, what's the next one? The general fund tax, oh, that's one we already talked about what each one of those property tax rates are in each one. The next one is the one you got in your sheet, which is the actual publication. That's what we'll be putting the paper that we're approving, um, which the, again, the bottom line is that bottom tax rate, but I wanna jump to the next one because that it's just too small there. The next one breaks it down by revenue, and then the next one will be um, actual expenses that'd be easier to see, especially on this one. So, This is actually the top portion of that publication, which is the revenue part. Um, and again, revenue is pretty much dictated. We really don't have much control of that. That's really what we're going to get. The next one is the expenses, and this is kind of shows you more, you know, a little bit bigger of what that what we're approving on the expenses. The thing was taking its time here. The thing to remember is that first. Um, <clears throat> column on the left would be the what we're actually certifying. The middle column is the 
estimated 2021. So basically, again, that's not for sure what we're going to spend. That's kind of expenses. And then the actual is the, what we actually spent that has been um, done through CAR and so on and so forth. So when it says the average, sometimes people get hung up on those percentages. That's the change from 2020 to what we're certified in 222. So it's two years, not just one. So sometimes people say, oh my gosh, we're going up 16% in instruction. Well, that's over two years. And again, when we certify, we're always going to be a little high when we certify. Um, and again, I kind of talked to you about that many a time. But, um, and then and the other thing too is on that, uh, the other at the bottom, you know, it's just really hard to tell how much we're going to spend in construction. So we've got that 12 million, you know, obviously we don't have 31 million between what we estimated in 2021 and uh, what we're certifying here. So we're not going to spend that much. We don't have that much. So it is what it is. But, so the big thing, again, the bottom line is the tax rate at the bottom, which is the 10, um, 1039. And that's what people are 